Now on 1460 WVOX, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Hi, my name's Paul Feiner. I'm uh, the Greenberg uh, Town Supervisor, and today we have a very uh, special um, uh, show. It's never too early to get involved in uh, the community. It's never You're never too young to help others um, and to make a difference. And with me as special guests are two uh, young men, uh, Sebastian Orr and Jake uh, Goodman. Sebastian is eight years old, and both of them have been raising funds to help uh, those who have, um, have cancer. They're young philanthropists. They're probably one of the youngest community philanthropists around. Sebastian, could you tell us about what you've been doing? My grandpas were sick, so I played the piano so I can, like, you know, raise money to help my grandpas so they can feel better because, like, they need to get treatment. And I feel bad for them that they're sick, so I want to help really bad. And how are you helping them? By playing the piano so I can raise money and help them. Uh, and do you have a video? Yes, I do. Have your events been successful, Sebastian? Yes. And, ha- and I got a uh, lots of money, so. Do you know how much money so far? Nope, not at all. How does it feel to uh, help other people? Um, it feels really fun, actually. And um, I'm wearing a Bash Cancer shirt so everybody can see it. And they can go on my website so I can get more money and help my grandpas. Oh, that's great. I want to t- ask you um, if your friends are aware of all the work you do. Have you told your friends? Yeah, I have a friend named Joshua and he watched my video and I did a special thanks and I also played a song from The Little Prince called Dinah Klein and Not Music. Ah, that is great. Do you, do you um, encourage your friends who are not involved in the community to get involved in a charity of their choice? Yes. Yes. But instead of kids just watching TV, do you think it's important for kids to do a little bit more to help others? Yes. yes. And are you going to be telling your friends when you start school? Yes. Yes. That is um, really great. And before we take a break, what um, advice would you give other children your age? What grades are you in, by the way? I'm going to third grade. And what advice are you going to give to other fellow friends and classmates? We're going to give them lots of advice about this, and probably on the first day of school, I might wear this bash cancer shirt so all my new friends in third grade can see it and they can tell their moms and dads that when they get picked up to go on my website so I can raise more money to help my grandpas because I really love them and they're really sick. And I would really miss them if they were all the way up there. So That is great. Sebastian, do you have your own website? Um, I do actually have a website. It's like right on my shirt right here. It's, it's bashcancer.org. Bash so it's B-A-S-H cancer.org. And that's your own website. Uh, yes, it is our own website. We created the website to be able to host the videos that Sebastian is playing. You will be able to find this interview on bashcancer.org. Oh, that's great. So I'll have my 15 minutes of fame. How long do you have you been playing with the piano? Since I was in first grade. And how many hours a day do you practice? We try for 45 to an hour every day. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, we also have uh, Sebastian's um, father with, uh, with us, uh, Sandro uh, Orr. Sandro's been on this program a number of times, um, you know, in the past. And could you tell us a little bit about what motivated you to, to help your son set up a website? The last year and a half or so has been particularly tough on on our family. You know, on New Year's Day of 2013, Bash's grandfather on his mother's side was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And earlier this year, my father, his other grandfather, was diagnosed with colon cancer. And these are events that take a toll on families. And clearly, children are not immune to the situations. And they understand, particularly when they're seven, eight years old, they really understand when things are not great. And so he started asking questions. And rather than hide things from him, we felt it was important to share what was going on and kind of help him cope with the news and the situation. And through that process, we really felt that, you know, that he was 
feeling some grief, but was struggling with how to express it or how to cope with it. Something that stuck with me was he said that if he ever met cancer, he would ninja kick it so it wouldn't come back and hurt anybody. That's great. That stuck with me. The way that I processed that was that he really wanted to do something more. And he did. He said that he wanted to do something to help. And so I promised him that I would come up with something, some way to help. And so uh, he had started playing piano last year. And this idea for bash cancer kind of just came to me. Uh, His cousin, who is younger than him, couldn't pronounce his name fully. And so he calls him Bastion. And that's where bash came from. And it just made perfect sense that he would bash cancer. And so with that, you know, we created these videos where he's playing the piano, hoping that if people see his playing, that they would be moved to make a donation to his cause to help his grandparents. What I felt was that we were creating a platform for a child to do something positive. That's great. Sebastian, you want to say something? And if I ever step right into cancer, I'd go like, pow! And Sebastian, what's your website again? www.bashcancer.org Great. I also want to let our uh, listeners know that the town board and I will be honoring both of them at our meeting as young philanthropists. And I think that it's important to recognize the fact that uh, even though uh, they're younger than most people who are involved in charity, they still are making a big difference Uh, Sebastian, how does it feel to be honored? It's really good. It feels really good. I don't know what to say. All I can say is good. So do you like being on the radio? It feels really fun. I want to do this all day, every day, no matter what. You know, that is great. So I was uh, reading uh, the American Cancer Society's uh, website before uh, this interview, and currently there's 14.5 million cancer survivors in the United States. And by 2024, it's estimated that the population of cancer survivors will increase to almost 19 million people, which shows that a lot of progress is being made. You know, this is the summer season, and the American Cancer Society, on their website, they mentioned that you could prevent skin cancer by uh, taking advantage of some of the the tips that they have. If somebody is uh, concerned about breast cancer, They also have on their website information about breast cancer, mammography, um, you know, statistics. Even, uh, you know, young people have to be concerned about body weight because as people get heavier, if their nutrition isn't good, if they're not active in sports or uh, physical activity, that increases uh, cancer. And, you know, another thing that I think has to be pointed out is um, people shouldn't smoke. Sebastian and... Jake, in school, do they teach you at all about the dangers of smoking? Um, I don't even remember a thing, but I do know that smoking is bad because um, actually on my Russian side of my family, um, my Russian aunt, she smokes and it doesn't make me feel good. So I try to get her to stop smoking, but she doesn't stop. And so she said that 25 people love me in this family and only six people love her. So she's smoking and I don't get what that means. And it's making me upset that she's smoking. Right. You know, more than half of all cancer deaths could be prevented by making healthy choices like not smoking, staying at a healthy weight, eating right, keeping active and getting recommended uh, screening tests. And by looking at the Cancer Society's website, www.cancer.org, they could give people, uh, you know, tips that could prevent people from getting bad news about their own, um, you know, their own health. Sebastian? If I ever hear one more time that somebody has cancer, I would feel, in my head, I would feel like I, that I would pretend that cancer is ice cream. I put it in the sun and it melts for 10 minutes. Ah, That's what I feel like I want to do next time I hear somebody in my family has cancer. That is great. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. I really uh, wish that more young people were like both of you. I'm uh, Paul Feiner. I'm uh, the Greenberg Town Supervisor, and I'll be back uh, next week. Thanks for listening.